It's 2011 when I decided to move to Singapore. If you, if you could turn. Against everyone's advice, I started a new career in a new country because I wanted to teach kids. But I didn't have the degree, nor did I have the experience, and people who mattered to me doubted I would succeed. Sadly, I listened. I didn't know myself enough to realize that I could be relentless in my pursuit of my passion. Looking back, it serves as a reminder that perhaps it isn't too late. It's uh, pretty gloomy outside, and we're in 2024, it's not 2011. When I set out to make this video, I was thinking of leaving tips or pieces of advice of things that I didn't do when I was in my 20s. And as I was going through it, I realized it actually still applies to me to this day. Um, this whole idea of having your life together has been in my head since I'm healed from depression. Although I'm a lot, um, I'm a lot less pressured to to do that, to have my life together because life, the the life that I planned, fell apart, and for two years, all I could really focus on was healing you know and then after healing I was like what now so so yeah I thought I thought this was going to be um, a video about why I regret my 20s and I realize now it still applies you don't need to have your life together as society says you should or I don't know how you define what having a together kind of life is but if it's putting too much pressure on you and making you miserable and you're suffering I suggest you back off girl um, yeah because life is crazy life will just put you in all sorts of directions and when I was in my 20s I was so passionate about teaching kids I didn't have the degree I didn't have the experience and yet I went all the way to Singapore found a job who was willing to pay for me to study again so that I can get my work visa but I took too long to decide I got scared I listened to the voices around me that told me uh, you will most likely fail and I realized now that the only failure for me back then was quitting on myself was while I should heed the advice of people around me, if I am talking to my gung-ho 20-year-old self who moved to Singapore back in 2011, I would tell her, strap them boots. <laughs> You're going to go through a lot of struggles. You're going to have to trust that you can do it. If you love it enough, it if it excites you every morning you wake up, which it did, stick with it. I just, I just thought, you know, let me listen to the people who know better than I do about life. And turns out I knew I should know or I would eventually know the kind of life that is best for me. And it took me almost 40 years to understand that. So I'm taking my own advice. Right now I'm taking my own advice and I'm doing these videos that I don't know anyone, it doesn't matter who watches it. I just, I wanna leave this in case, you know, my 40, I find myself 40 years from now wondering like, what would I give to my, what kind of advice I'd give to my 40, your old self and I'm like 80 and I look at this video and be like huh I did something right so I hope this helps I'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.